take four days to sign the first request for disaster? One, one second, please. Uh, what, what, one second, one second. What we're going to do now is we're going to begin to take questions from the media and also what we want to do is hopefully individuals have been able to get those questions. We'll bring those questions in and be able to answer those. Okay. We prepared a request for a national disaster declaration on Monday and Tuesday. Of course, a lot of our offices were closed on Monday. You know, was, as I shared with folks on Wednesday, um, I was trying to put out word all around the state on things to do. Don't don't use fireworks for heaven's sakes. Don't burn any brush. Be careful. 90% of all of the wildfires are caused by human error. Please, please, please be careful. On Wednesday, on Wednesday midday, we got out a request uh, for a national disaster declaration for the state of Texas. As I shared with you a few moments ago. This is horrific. I mean, just in, in the last seven days, we've had 183 new fires. Uh, in the last seven days, 183 new fires, uh, 150,000 acres have been burned. This is just, this is overwhelming. Uh, we sent a follow-up with more information um, an hour ago, just as we were starting this. Let me go back. Uh, we have asked the federal government for a statewide national disaster declaration. That permits us to have access right now into more heavy equipment and more personnel and supplies. One of the questions that was shouted out earlier, I want to respond to that. At the same time, we're working with FEMA and our emergency management personnel on specific fire declarations, including Bastrop, to get FEMA to be able to respond to damages on individual homes. I understand. I have. I understand that. That where you are, I've gone through this in Rita. I've gone through this in Ike. I know you've got a. A terrific problem and that's why the state of Texas cannot lead we are supporting the counties we are supporting the city so as as a partner in this we want to make sure that we're getting FEMA out now we have just gotten the team out into uh, the, the fire zone we have preliminary the numbers that we're sending to FEMA as I speak, not only on Bastrop County, but also on Williamson County. So we are trying to get that number. We need the, the, net, the major state, we need the declaration from President Obama, but even before we have it, uh, we, have, we have been providing. Now, we started asking for a major state um, a declaration in April of this year. And in July, President Obama approved a limited declaration from April through May. But this problem has been going on since January. So we got a, a declaration for just roughly a month's time period between April and May. And the fires have continued, and if anything, they've gotten worse. At the same time, though, the gentleman right here, we are working with FEMA, pushing them to get out and to, to address the, um, the individual homes and the problems. We've, got, we've gotten them initial numbers, but we don't have the numbers yet, as Mark Rose will tell you, for all 34,000 acres. And so we're, we're, we are working on that. Someone asked about looting. Folks, if you see any looting, please, if you get the license plate numbers, you, you can get it to the Sheriff's Department, you can get it to the, uh, the, uh, the city. Uh, we have DPS personnel assigned. We've got additional DPS that you can see all over the area. Um, that's the last thing we want to see. We want to crack down on people that are doing that. You talked about safety. We already have activated the Texas State Guard. Colonel Woodall is here with me, and they are at all of the shelters to make sure that we have security at the shelters. So I think that's, uh, I hope that's re responsive to some of the questions. This question is for the city. I know when okay. school's starting on Monday, and a lot of these shelters being in the schools, what's the long-term plan to get these people we have uh, moved 
the individuals out of the schools. They're no, no longer currently in the schools. They're working with our churches now. We have uh, four churches that we've uh, set up as shelters now, so they're no longer in the schools. And, we, and the churches that we're working with have said they're with us for the long haul.